Okay, so <clears throat> this is the program for, uh, we are discussing the Python program for the two functions we just talked about in the last lecture. That is the, how to represent a chromosome and then how to calculate the integer value of that. So this is the same program and uh, I'm writing, if you remember, this is the objective function which we wrote in the last, uh, uh, last uh, lecture objective function and fitness function these were the two so i'm now writing the third function here that is to generate population string so it takes uh, basically the name of the function is pop string and it takes the value uh, as a integer integer value for a string length so what is the length of the chromosome you want and then it generates that string so here if you see what i'm doing here is i'm initializing a uh, initializing a uh, vector x of length string and all having values zero okay all the elements having this is the way to initialize a vector uh, initialize a array rather in a python program and then what i am doing for that is i am having a for loop running from here to here okay uh, returning the value of x and what it is doing it it is running for from one to from 1 to length x okay so from 1 to length of x so what is the length of x if you see what is uh, whatever is the number of what is the string length that is here basically so you can also put the value of string length here and that what it does it uh, calculates a random value uh, then as a value and if that is less than or equal to 0 0.5 it puts that particular xi, that particular uh, uh, element in array as 1 and rest are, are already is initialized to 0 and that is the variable it returns. So that is for population string to generate. Okay, So we'll see how, uh, how that is done, how that actually is done here, tested here rather and testing it here. So if you see, I am using this were the earlier one to calculate objective function and we put passed on the values of x, a vector and so on. So that was tested here. Now what I'm doing here is uh, I'm taking that number of variables are two and these are the string length of each of the variables. So first variable is five, another variable is six. And uh, if I want to generate a whole chromosome at once, so what I will take is I'll take uh, the string length, sum of string length. So 5 plus 6 is the sum of string lengths, okay? And uh, then uh, what I'm doing is, this is M is this. So this is coming to be out to be 11. And string, population string is M. So what I'm doing is I'm passing this parameter M and uh, saying that population string. So let us see up to this point. Uh, what it does does it calculate the population string i will come in the rest of them otherwise while running it may, may confuse you so these are the things to uh, see later on but now i'll just comment and run the program up to this point so First, we'll check how this population string is working or not, and then we'll use that for generating more number of population if we want. So here we have, okay, there are some more things. Let also remove. So now I'll run this program and see that it works. Yes, so it has uh, taken, if you see, this is a 11 bit, uh, this one, because that were added total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So this is a 11 bit it has generated. Since we gave only once, so it ran once and it has given us the, uh, the value of pop, okay? So this is the value of pop here, the value of string which we got from this function, okay? So that is printed. And now we'll go for uh, other, one other program is 
decode individual that is we'll see how that that is written and we'll test it here okay so that means we'll decode an individual will give so this is string we have already generated and we will pass on to this same string to the individual and it should give us the integer value so let us see that this is the name of the function decode individual the input and the name of the output here and then it is printed so now let us see uh, how this decode individual decoding that uh, integer value is done so this is your pop string and we, we after that i have written this uh, function for decode individual it takes x as input and first initializes the value x so this x is basically a, a string input okay so this will be a string input here so ones and zeros strings of ones and zeros and this value is first a value is initialized at zero then i run a for loop so this for loop is run from one in the range of length of x okay so uh, this is basically i am calculating the length len x is basically a function to calculate the length okay so if it is 11 it will calculate is now 11. so basically the value here it is calculating is value so already older value plus xi so whatever is xi here that is multiplied and 2 raised to power length of x okay so if it is the length is 11 okay starting length is 11 so 11 minus 1 so it will take 10 and it will calculate the value then uh, next iteration i will become 2 then it subtracts 2 so 11 minus 2 9 and so on so it is correctly actually calculating uh, uh, this is the way to calculate the value or uh, integer value of a, a binary string given to the problem okay so uh, this is uh, there was some mistake in the lecture part of it but here it is all right so this is the syntax we have written and now let us try to run this and see that it gives us the actual value or not okay so uh, first it will generate a random string and then give you the string value of course it will be not this the same because it is generating a random screen uh, string and then it will calculate the value of <coughs> this uh, this value okay decoded value so let us run this one okay so this is what has happened uh, this is the new string we have got and this is the integer value of that string and I think you can calculate this corresponds to 1 and this corresponds to 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 and this corresponds to 4 4 plus 3 is 7 4 8 uh, 16 32 64 64 plus 7 and 128 128 plus 64 plus 7 uh, you can calculate if you have a calculator let me check i do have a calculator with me uh, a calculator so it is basically 128 128 plus uh, 64 plus uh, 7 all right 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 so if you see it is 199 so it has calculated correctly so for this particular uh, this one it is 120, 199 so that is also working fine now in most of the cases we will need to generate several such population okay population of individual so that also i have done here so let's say we say that we want to have population size of four i'm deliberately taking a small population so that it can be easily seen so that is actually n equal to pop size and to keep that population i have written uh, and this is the string length okay so string length is already given over here if i remember string length is there okay so sum of string length is there i think it has come twice no problem it will calculate twice uh, then you have a uh, i have 
kept a population a population now since it is population so it will contain several uh, individuals one one minute the other so it is basically a matrix and this is how you initiate initialize a matrix of zeros in a, in a python okay so zero into m and so on it uses numpy in this one so this is what you have and if you want to see the initialized initialized uh, initialized uh, population this will print here and uh, what i am trying to do here is uh, let me check I'll, after this is there then i am calculating n population okay so up to pop size so it was four here so up to that population size i am trying to generate that so there were four populations uh, each of 11 bit and we will see that after running this for loop from i from the range of zero to population size it will give me the here i have put a string four but i can put the value of string length as whatever it is so what was the string length i can write m as a string length okay instead of four so i am taking m over here so it will now generate 11 by 4 matrix okay, each string of 11 and having a population of 4 so we will just run this and see that we generate a population of chromosomes or population so this is how population, population of individuals are generated here so this is one which we shall saw and that is the equivalent of that and then this is the population various if you see this all these strings are different you also have a string with all zeros here there is such a possibility is there that you may get all the zero strings no sorry it is first time it is showing all the zeros and then uh, okay this is this is the first one which we saw that this for this one this command that the initialized one okay so initialized string if you remember we have written that to show the that initialized string this this okay. so for this one we have this one we have initialized string so that is all zero that is showing and then we are running this for loop and same initial string is now it is taking m in m uh, bit one and then it is uh, updating that string for zeros and ones okay so this population is now you have a population of four each having a 11 uh, this one 11 bit long uh, chromosome okay now if you want to write this program that you generate uh, the individuals from e for uh, corresponding to each of the chromosome so here i have again generated that uh, same number of individuals here so number of variables by number of population okay so these are again zeros are generated here this is also a kind of array okay uh, kind of number of variables by number of uh, this is a matrix okay number of population and number of variables so here also i am running from one to population size and now this time i am using decode individual and passing each pop one by one okay pa passing each of the chromosomes one by one to get the individual value so that is also stored in stored in the uh, this particular matrix and we'll print this matrix and see that now we get a decoded integer values of all this population that is all i believe so we'll just run here so this is what we have done so if you see there are four populations so corresponding to this this is 9993 corresponding to this you get 1778 and so on so all these are generated back so you have an individual and the chromosome coded together so this is the program basically to show how you code the individuals and get the chromosomes and that is all for the python part of the program thank you